Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be finally going over Gilfest, which is coming up pretty soon. It's on September 2nd. Uh, my last Fate Grand Order video, I talk, I was basically just chilling, and that's what I've been doing in Fate for the past, uh, whenever summer ended. I've just been chilling, waiting for a lot of season because I know that's when the real grinding begins. So I'm going to go over what um, the event has and some stuff that you can grind from it. And that's going to be today's video. So I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, telling me how you what you plan to do, how hard you go for this lotto, or if you're just planning to, um, or maybe if this is your first lotto and you're just kind of go, I'm going to see what happens. Um, and subscribe to me if you want more videos. That's what I forgot. Okay, so what to start? Let me start by saying, what is a lotto event? So basically, a lotto event in Fate Grand Order, um, there's usually two a year, except for one year where there's going to be three. Uh, no, actually, there's usually more. There is usually three a year. Two of them are actually fully grindable to all the way, and then one is usually a rerun of uh, Christmas. This year, we're only getting two because, <laughs> for some reason, uh, doesn't matter. Just know that we're getting two this year. <laughs> And um, in it is a great way. It's the only event in the entire game that can let you grind EXP, skill gems, and orc or uh, statues, depending on which lotto. I think on Christmas it's statue, but for here it is gems. And um, ascension items as well. It's the only event that lets you do all three at the same time and effectively. And the reason is, is that there's a lottery where every stage drops lotto tickets and then every two lotto tickets you can exchange it for one roll of the lotto and then you get whatever comes out of it um i can show you the items which are which is down below here um just to show off a little bit of the so yeah so here's how the lotto looks like normally you can see here do one roll do 10 doing a 10 roll gives you this much and you basically want to fill out everything and get the grand prize um, once you get the grand prize, you get the option to skip and go into the next box, which is usually good for people who don't have much time and just want all the grand prizes and then they're done with the lotto. Um, but for someone like me, usually I get absolutely every single item, especially the apples, um, because the apples do not, um, at least the gold and silvers stop showing up after 10. So right here at number 10, you no longer get silver apples and gold apples in the lotto and from 11 onward it's basically no more grand prizes either and you can just infinitely grind it as much as you want and there's no real limit to it the only limit is how much you can handle and how much it takes out of you and yeah that is basically the lotto and for this lotto you can see here there's also an event item called the big diamond which we can use the big diamond to exchange it for these command codes if you missed last year, you can also get pick up these command codes, but if you got them last year, you can't get them. And uh, and some other items like a quick code opener, arts code opener, buster code opener, and code remover, and some QP once you get everything in the entire thing. So yeah, Lotto Season is the absolute best time to be grinding. So you can see here the skill enhancement materials and the skill enhancement and ascension materials, serpent jewels, meteor horseshoes, proof of heroes, fool's chain. Fool's chain is very hard and you need a lot of them to grind. So having it in a place where you can just get them at infinite is very nice. Um, see, this one is gems. It's all gems, so that means on Christmas it's going to be the actual statues. But gems are good for ascending to the skills. And you also get a lot of QP from this too, because every... You can get, see, there's QP in it, and I think, I forget how much it is, but it adds up after doing it so many times. You know what I'm saying? And there's also, you see the Blaze of Wisdoms, Golden Fruit, Silver Fruit, Bronze Fruit. Bronze Fruit will continue to be in it, but uh, after 10, Golden Fruit and Silver Fruit leave, and Friend Points. Lots and lots of Friend Points. So, and here are the Grand Prizes just to show them. 1 through 5 is the uh, Craft Essence that you need for... I believe Jewel Bride is, yeah, it's for strength, and it's going to be useful for the challenge quests that are also in here. Uh, Crystallized Lore is in number 6, Corona Foes are from 7 to 10, and yeah, that's that's the basic of a Lotto. Um, I recommend grinding Lotto if you really want to get a lot of bang for your buck. 
That's how I got I got a lot of my servants to their final ascension is just constantly grinding it. And that's not to say also there are stages in there, which I can show right here in the next tab I have open. <sighs> just to show the actual breakout. So there's always three, there's always three, there's always two, there's always two. So if you do <laughs> 10 lottos and you get them all, that's 30, 30, 20, 20. Very good to have. So yeah, like I was saying, the actual spots that you uh, grind, they're different. There's three, there's main battles, side, the, I forget what it's called, S main battles, and then the finals. Um, and I believe it says right here, it will tell you from when to when these are specifically open. So main event starts from the second till the fifth. And then from the 5th to the 10th is the S main battle, and then for the finals it is the 10th to the 15th. So basically 5 day intervals each time. Um, and they give you Apple, so it's worth doing all of them. But also they give you different like drop rewards, so while you're getting like... Usually what you end up doing, and this is what I'm doing, is I usually I grind out um, stuff like... Because you can see here this one drops hot dogs and fries, but this one's better at dropping... Actually they're pretty even here from what I can see. Um, yeah, 3-3. Three, three. This, one's, this one's really good for burgers. But you can see, depending on what you need to grind, you just plop yourself here. But then I also pay attention to what drops here, so I don't need Yidrasil seeds. So I, I'm, actually, I could use Forbidden Pages. So if I need a lot of Forbidden Pages, I would just non-stop cl uh, grind club. But you also have to look at some other stuff. So this one has pot, the, the pot, the black tallow, and the fluid. Um, fluid's pretty useful, but I don't need any of this stuff, so I can kind of like not really do it. I can do it once for the apple and then kind of move on. And here we have, ooh, this one has phoenix plums. I might actually need phoenix plums, so I would probably divide my time between these two. And then there's also the garden. Ooh, this one has, this one will only give you the lot of stuff, so I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you only want, either if you're doing it early to get the, um, E, the lotto done so you can get the challenge the the C's that increase your attack for the challenge quests that's totally valid but usually I like to save it and for this one it has hearts in it so that's actually pretty decent but you can see here you kind of should look at what they drop this one will give you all three of these uh, it basically give you everything if you want to do it that way I usually like it being focused on only two items at a time but anyway you can see here it changes this one it has fangs, this one it has the bracelets and the infinity gear, uh, berserker statue and bullets, and a teardrop, the arrow, the claw, talon of chaos, my bad. And here we have the reactor core and the homunculus baby. And then for finals we have bones on street level, which is not bad. And we have the... I forget what these things are called. This is like called the Atopia Twin Crystal. There you go. They always have like really long names for me to forget, like Lamp and the uh, Stinger on this one. And this is your final day. So, ooh, for the final day, the Aurora Steel is very good if you have Scotty and you do not have her at max skills. So you can kind of grind out your um, burgers here on the final day. But also you can see here, three to five. It gets a little bit better as you go along. It definitely gets better as you get to the final days and your drops get a little bit better because of it. Um, and the final for a year, it's actually the the mirror and the lamp, which kind of sucks for me because I don't actually need very much of either. I think I might actually need some of the mirror, but lamp I got plenty of. But And then you can also see the fights themselves change. So you have to kind of move up with your chain, uh, depending on your team, you got to change some stuff. Like, for example, this one starts off with two Lancers, so that will be really screwy for um, looping. In general, it'd be very screwy to loop with any just two thing dudes. So I might actually avoid some of the ones with two for looping purposes. Since I don't need to, I don't, I don't really need to deal with it that badly right off the start. It's fine if it's on the last stage. The, the final stage is perfectly fine, but in the middle stages, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Okay. So, yeah, that's the basic structure of the event itself. Some things to look out for. Uh, of course, there's going to be exhibition quests. These are very, basically very hard quests. The new ones for here have basically a thing where they 
have a unit they want you to basically beat it with, and you should look into beating it with it. Um, all your strategies should revolve around them, so pay attention to that. But also, the old ones from the previous uh, Gelfest will be there, and you can try them out. They're very hard, they usually need the new CE. I would suggest not doing them unless you were super prepared for them, and don't feel bad if you can't do it if you're a new player. I've certainly skipped a lot of them, they usually give you like... Um, some neat stuff, but it's not the end-all be-all. It's really more <laughs> ragging rights. I think in the old days they used to give a ticket. I don't think they do anymore. Let me look at the old one and see if they still do. They still do give tickets, so actually, hmm. Even the new one? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they still give tickets. I <laughs> As you can see there, it's still very hard. <laughs> that was a full-on paragraph of what the boss is. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, and what to fight them with. So yeah, that's something to definitely look forward to. It's very different from all the lotto grinding. So if you're also looking for someone who's like, if you're not someone who's like looking super into like, oh man, endless grind. If you're someone who's actually looking into thoughtful team experimenting, then it's got that for you too. Um, usually I love these events. They're very good. They basically cater to two, <laughs> the two different subsets. The people who love beating very hard events with crazy teams and the people who love non-stop grinding. And yes, they exist. I'm one of them. So yeah, the two event sees from the, from the actual event itself, the Jewel Bride, this is the one that gives you a tag string, this is the one inside the lotto. And then the Scenic Beauty, which you buy using the hot dogs, the burgers, and the fries is called, uh, Scenic Beauty. We can look down here. Doesn't really matter what they do because they're just free. This one usually applies guts. They always do that. Um, ooh, well, it gives 15 uh, crit stars. That's pretty good for grinding. If you're grinding with a very specific team that just gets hella uh, crit stars. Okay, let's see. So yeah, you can get these diamonds. I think I already explained these diamonds. But with the burgers, you can exchange them for the classic stuff. This is something that's in every single one of these events. But you can see you can get a scenic beauty. Scenic beauty with the hot dogs and the burgers. I forget, isn't there usually two with the burgers? But apparently I'm not seeing a second one, but whatever. Um, if you're grinding this event hardcore, you will max out this entire shop. It's not really hard. <laughs> you don't even really need craft essences for grinding. You may get them if you're pulling for a gill or you like the CE of them. Um, I can tell you right now, I've never needed them, because I even with someone focusing 100% on Lotto, you end up getting a decent amount of them anyway if you're grinding a specific stage, so don't worry about it. And yeah, and there's that's basically it. Gil's getting an update. This is the summon. There will be a later summon with Ishtar on it, if you're a big fan of Ishtar. So, two very uh, loved uh, archers for sure, so... I'm not going to be planning on summoning on them because I already have Ishtar and I don't really need Gilgamesh. So there you go. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope it was helpful in some way. And good luck in the grinding. It's very simple. In terms of grinding teams, there's obviously looping with Scotty, but it kind of requires a lot of investment. There's a tried and true method, which is just using Ardash to completely destroy turn one and then kind of just go in from there. Using Waver for 50% to just kind of go in for it. There's plenty of things you can do, it's just a matter of if you can do them or not, um, or if it's viable. Like I said, some some of these stages seem like they're anti-looping, because they have two people in it, and that's usually very bad for looping. Um, unless they have so much HP on the other one, it's actually very good, because you can actually get 100% NP if you deal enough damage to them and stuff like that. There's always stuff like that. And there's also some units like Pravati and Mo, who are just so good at what they do, they don't actually care if there's only two people on the opposing side. On the opposing side. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you guys in the, when the grinding begins. And also prepare for like a Metal Gear Solid style cutscene, because Jesus Christ, the these fest, Gil Fest, Nero Fest, um, Ska Hawk Fest, as I wanted to call it, Hawk Fest. Some people want to call it um, S C A T H the Fest, but it kind of sounds like shit, because it's you know there's another word for shit, scat. Um, but I just call it Hawk Fest. So, there you go. Because that's how you properly pronounce her last name. But yeah, these things are great for catching up if you're a beginner. And if you're someone who likes to play a lot, you get a lot of QP. 
So there's plenty of stuff still valid for everything. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good day, and bye-bye.